Good morning to you and Barakah de Salah to all our Muslim brothers and sisters around the world and in particular in Ghana. We say happy, happy Salah uh, to all of you. Many thanks for joining us this morning. It is the very last day in the month of July 2020, the 31st day of July 2020 and the front page is on. It's a holiday as well and we're happy that you found time to join us this morning to find out what's making headline news this beautiful morning. Well, we're kicking off with the daily graphic this morning uh, for the holiday edition of your front pages. Then we'll start off with the daily graphic this morning. And the daily graphic comes with a photograph of Mrs. Jean Mensa, chairperson of the Electoral Commission. Banner headline says, EC detects multiple registration deduplication exercise to expound names. The Electoral Commission says it has detected some multiple registration in the ongoing mass voter registration exercise. A detection followed the commencement of a deduplication exercise by the Commission, a process that involves using the machines to match pictures and fingerprints of persons who have registered to detect duplication. And uh, when asked about the number of persons involved in the multiple registration exercise so far, well, the EC's uh, director of operations said, and I quote, I cannot put out figures now because we are currently working on it, but it will be ready by Monday, unquote. And that's what Dr. Srebo said um, in, in trying to give some figures uh, to the number of um, duplicated names within the register. The Daily Graphic also reports today, Muslims celebrate Eid today, and Muslims around the world will today begin the four-day celebration of Eid ul Adha, one of the two most important festivals on the Islamic calendar. The celebration, which is expected to end on Monday, symbolizes Prophet Ibrahim's will to submit to Allah through the ultimate sacrifice of his son Ismail on Allah's command. Muslims who can afford will offer sacrifices of sheep, goat, cows, and camels to symbolize Prophet Ibrahim's obedience to Allah. A third part of the sacrifice is shared with the poor. And in Accra, the National Chief Imam Sheikh Osman Nuhu Sharubutu will lead the Edo Ada prayers at the forecourt of the inner reception of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. The usual national congre congregational prayers at the Independence Square will not be held because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And that's also on the front page here of Daily Graphic. We move on to some other stories on the front page of Daily Graphic. Don't invite hate speech communicators. Professor Kwame Karikari, eh, Kakari, I beg your pardon, charges media and electra and communication specialist professor kwame kakari has called on media organizations to bar political party communicators and politicians who use hate speech from speaking on media platforms he said hate speech had the potential to fuel atrocities hence the need for the media to firmly and uncompromisingly draw the line for hate speech that's also on the front page here of daily graphic let's move on to the ghanaian times and ghanaian times this morning comes with a photograph of dr patrick kuma abwaje and he is the director general of the ghana health service banner headline says discharge plan for gold track shs students only shss without COVID 19 cases can vacate and that's attributed to the ges and the Ghana Health Service jointly. And that's here on the front page of the Ghanaian Times. And also on the front page of the Ghanaian Times today, Muslims celebrate Edu Ada today. And it's a story on the front page of the Ghanaian Times. Also here, um, if you go to page three of the Ghanaian Times, national security arrest seven Nigerians at home. And that's a story at page three of the Ghanaian Times and personnel of the Revenue Assets and Border Protection Unit of the National Security on Tuesday night arrested seven Nigerians who entered Ghana through an unapproved route near Aflao. Mr. Robert Tetefio Ajase, national head of the unit, 
who disclosed this to the Ghanaian Times in Denu uh, on Wednesday, said that the Nigerians contravened the closure of Frontier at about 11 p.m. that night. He said that when the unit got wind of plans by some people trying to enter the country illegally from Togo, the unit deployed personnel along the frontier and that has led to the arrest of seven nigerians at home and that's on the front page here of the ghanaian times on the front page of the ghanaian times as well ghana aids commission race stocks arv drugs hiv aids test kits and uh, that is some good news uh, for persons living with hiv on the front page of the paper well let's go back to the banner headline story of the ghanaian times and for parents who are worried about their children coming home uh, as shss have vacated uh, you want to get details of this matter and the ghana health service and the ghana education service have announced a three-phase discharge plan for gold track senior high school uh, students who will be vacating today july 31 per the arrangement Schools that have not reported any case of coronavirus disease since the resumption of academic work six weeks ago will be allowed to go home immediately. The second would involve schools that have ever uh, recorded a positive case of the virus, but in the last two weeks have not had any. And, uh, and that's the second category. Such schools, according to the Director General of the Ghana Health Service, uh, will be advised to proceed on vacation. The third, however, will be schools that have recorded a positive case in the last two weeks. An assessment will be done to identify those who have had a contact with the infected persons. And if that is established, their vacation will be delayed while we do further assessment and examination. Afterwards, they would also be allowed to go home and all parents concerned will be informed of the development so if you want to know uh, the plan uh, for vacating uh, final year shs uh, students uh, that's about it for you this morning and on the front page of the ghanaian times as well 22 million ghanaians income affected by covid 19 and that's coming from the ghana statistical service and about 22 million ghanaians out of the projected 31 million population have experienced reduction in income since March 16 when the country introduced uh, its restrictions on the coronavirus disease and that's coming from the Ghana Statistical uh, Service. It's on the front page of the Ghanaian Times of today. Let's move on to Daily Guide and Daily Guide is our next paper for the holiday edition of your front page and of course Daily Guide says Old Voters Register Court Rejects NDC Review as Chachu Runs Away. Story says there was drama at the Supreme Court yesterday when Chachu Chikata chickened out of an application for review whilst leading the opposition National Democratic Congress to pursue the Voters Register case which was thrown out by the court uh, recently. Uh, Mr. Chikata filed the application for review on July 24 asking the apex court to reconsider its decision that the old voters card could not be used as proof of identification for the ongoing voters registration exercise uh, but in the wisdom of the supreme court um, that would not suffice and it's on the front page of daily guide government gives 100 buses to shs and it's on the front page of the paper nana tries to escape Muntie 3 debacle and professor nana jeno pokwajiman has literally fled from the bad mouths of the Muntie 3 as she explains that she did not endorse their remarks on air claiming her petition was based on clemency and it goes on and on and on. Daily Guide also reports today Supreme Court kicks out Ofosu Ampofo. And that's also a story on the front page of Daily Guide. The attempt by the national chairman of the National Democratic Congress, Samuel Ofosu Ampofo, to strike out three proceedings of an Accra High Court where he is standing trial has been dismissed by the Supreme Court. Mr. Fosompofo had gone to the Supreme Court alleging that the trial judge Samuel, Justice Samuel Esiedu acted in ex
and he was actually the candidate uh, of the ruling RHD party uh, for the 2020 elections that is coming up in October and he died a couple of weeks ago and that has led and that has led to um, the party uh, going for um, Mr. Watara who already had indicated uh, not to contest again at all uh, because of age and and of course uh, as it is uh, he has uh, been forced to do it now but he says that and I quote him um, I have heard messages from the various party structures uh, elected officials and RHD uh, uh, RHDP bodies as well as those from institutional presidents and ministers who have also contacted me directly I take note of the resolutions of the political council and of your request i ask you to continue to have a thought for amadou uh, who is a deceased prime minister and to give me time for meditation and recovery before giving you an answer very soon but don't forget that that, that election is coming up in october this year how much time does mr watara have uh, to meditate and to come up with a decision well interesting times Ahead. We apologize for the technical uh, hitches we had in our sound. Uh, we hope that you bear with us as we continue with the front page. Also, inside Africa, killer of Rafiki, Uganda's rare mountain gorilla jailed, and the killer of one of Uganda's best known mountain gorillas, Rafiki, has been jailed for 11 years. Felix uh, uh, Bamukama pleaded guilty to illegally entering a protected area and killing a uh, gorilla and the story continues that uh, Bamukama uh, had said the gorilla attacked him and he killed Rafiki in self-defense according to the Uganda Wildlife uh, Authority and that's also uh, some stories making uh, headline news in Africa. AU commends China for support to building Africa's capacity of disease control prevention and the African Union has highly commended China for the country's continued support and assistance to Africa's capacity building endeavors in disease control and prevention. In a statement on Wednesday, the 55-member Pan-African bloc said that it has signed with China a memorandum of understanding at a virtual ceremony for the project of the Africa Center for Disease Control and prevention headquarters building uh, phase one so china is going to build for africa uh, africa center for disease control and prevention and au is all happy about this praising china well interesting headlines for your holiday edition of the front page happy happy birthday to you vera brown today is your birthday and that's my sister happy birthday to you enjoy your day but we have an interesting documentary coming up at 7 a.m this morning for you and on wednesday the chronicle reported uh, that the dce of amancia south constituency had endorsed galamse openly we take you to two years back in memory lane uh, where the Salis newspaper did an undercover investigation into Galamse activities in Namansia South District, where uh, the Chronicle reportedly uh, indicated that the DCE on Wednesday um, openly supported Galamse. We take you back down memory lane to tell you how neck deep some officials are as far as uh, Galamse is concerned in that very district in the ashanti region that's coming up at 7 a.m today on stream tv my name is bismarck brown have a super day enjoy your holiday and once again we say baraka de salah to all our muslim brothers and sisters and a happy birthday to you vera brown